Now let us look at this question number two. And this question number two is from uh, you know computer networks part. And most of the students here they have done this question wrong. Let me tell you the reason why you have done it wrong. Uh, let us first of all read the question. They are saying a host is connected to a department network, which is a pa part of a university network. Okay, so you might be having a university network like this, and here we'll be having different departments. Let us suppose one department is your library, the second department is your uh, maybe faculty room, the third department is your laboratory. So there are different kinds of department. Maybe you have a computer department. Right, which is an admin department or something like this, and this entire university network is divided into subnets, or you can say sub networks, and the IP addresses are there to each subnet, right? And then further, this entire network is also connected to through internet, right? So whenever you have a router, generally, so a router is having two kinds of interfaces. The first interface is connected to inter internet. Maybe that is the external IP address can be one one nine dot one nine two dot sixty three dot forty one, but we can have internal IP addresses which are maybe one nine two dot one six eight dot one dot three. The second device might might be having one nine two dot one six eight dot one dot four. The third device might be having one nine two dot one six eight dot one dot five, and these are different hosts. Maybe this is your laptop, this is your mobile phone, this is your tablet, or different kinds of host. That pick that can be connected to a router. So, a router is having two interfaces. The first that connects to the external internet, and second that connects to a local network. Now, you read the question properly. They are saying the largest network in which the Ethernet address of the host is unique. Now, clearly you can see they are discussing about the Ethernet address. They are not discussing about their IP address. So, this this is the IP address. So, the IP address might be unique. Within the university network, okay, uh, not the subnet. It can be unique in the network. At the and the same time, when we discuss about the Ethernet address, now Ethernet address is also called as a MAC address. Fine. So Ethernet address is a MAC address. And bear remember, do not confuse the inter Ethernet address as an IP address because IP address is different and MAC address is different. And generally, this MAC address is different throughout the entire network. We do not have. Two devices which are having the same MAC addresses. So correct answer here is option number three. It is not option number one. It is not option number two. Okay. So because they are asking about the MAC address, which is the Ethernet address. But let us suppose we change this Ethernet address to something called as IP address. If we change the Ethernet address to the IP address, then the, this concept will change. The reason is uh, the IP address here. Uh, a router might be having two connections again the router might be having an ip address which is connected to the entire internet and secondly we can have a university network now within this university network we can do subnetting but again even if we do subnetting now same ip address that is belonging here that cannot belong in this subnet so uh, the ip address uh, will not be unique in a subnet it should be unique for the entire university network if they ask about the ip address then it will be the entire university network because uh, this router will be having an external ip and then will be having internal ip so this internal ip uh, they can be uh, unique within this you know same university network fine so then the option will be option number 1 so correct answer to this question option number 3 do not confuse this answer with option number 1 and 2 Uh, because most of the students, I can bet most of the students have made mistake in this question because they confuse the Ethernet with the IP address.